Okay, so got the uh, throttle buddy off, moved back the airbox some. Now we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the valve cover first, just because that's what I wants to do. I believe these two are the only ones with washers on it. Looking good. Then from there, get your pull. feels a little sludgy down in there. That oil is pretty, pretty black. That way you know that each one of those is going to go back to where you need it and or want it. So next I'm going to pull out the exhaust. Um, like I said, always pre-do those bolts there. I don't know how many times I've moved these papers. But um, I'm going to go to that one. Pick this. Why not? What you want to do when you back off like these kind of nuts is spray them down with PB Blaster, let it sit, and then break it a quarter of a turn, and then spray it again. Bust it a quarter of a turn, spray it again. Do that a couple times a night, if they feel bad. I mean, these these actually did pop off pretty pretty quick. Undo the O2 sensor. Okay, I kind of skipped over that part just because I still wasn't sure how to get that off, but. Uh, these are just dowels and they slip into those little rubber grommets right there. So all I did was just took the, the rack and pushed on the muffler and sure enough it just comes right on out. So <clears throat> once you undo your O2 sensor there. But now we're even more free and open so let's keep it moving. I'm going to undo the coolant line real quick.
Yeah, what do you think about that thing? Huh? What do you think about it? <laughs> Take your pick. I got three of them here. I like it. I like that it has a little bed for your cooler since nobody really ever rides with you. I know. You got your own backrest. And then I can have a person if I want or need because that, uh, is that the first time you've seen it? Uh, second time. That's right. It came over before Nats. Yeah, Oh yeah. Your brake is weak. Shoot. The e brake. So I went ahead and took out the uh, front diff, slid it back, got the drive shaft out, just take the boots out, pry out on it, then push the spring back up in there that way, and then slide it out. I already went around and did all the uh, the crank bolts here over the crankcase cover. And what I do to um, kind of line up everything is I just start somewhere and then lay them out. So underneath here you got one, first, second, like the third one here is longer, that one's longer. So you can do it like one, two, three, four, even though they're probably all going to be about the same. That one, that one. Fifteen of your bolts out. There's a couple little pry points here you can kind of play with. There we go. We got it separated now. Just kind of hit on all these little pry points with the um, This one actually came out pretty, pretty easy. As far as washers and the uh, whole clutch assembly piece over there. So we're just gonna check for O-rings and dowels real quick. Got an O-ring and dowel right there. O-ring and dowel right there. Um, should be an O-ring up here. His ball and spring stayed on there. First thing I got to do, get rid of this. 